soccer analyst and super fan Roger Bennett, co-founder of Men and Blazers. <laughs> so nice to finally meet you in person. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you are regular to this place, but yeah. I don't get to see you. Good to see you, though, this morning. We, we always like it when Roger's here. Yeah. yeah. Gail King, the one true monarch that I respect. Oh. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Roger always comes with jokes. Yes. Yeah. So what happens now? I mean, yeah. this was not the result they were hoping for. If not for those inches on that on that post there on the goal, Portugal would have won. Yeah. They'd be coming home yeah. this morning. It's a little too close for comfort. Yeah. Most certainly, as Churchill once said, I think the greatest feeling in life is to be shot at without result, which is what that was when the ball hit the post. I want to be clear, despite my accent, you know, I'm as American as Bruce Springsteen and Dolly Parton, so I <laughs> ache for these women. They are going yeah. for a three-peat like the Chicago Bulls, but this would be like Pippin and Jordan going out in the last dance in the first round of the playoffs. It's hard to watch. Yeah. The rest yeah. of the world is caught up. We have Title IX here, which has given us an amazing head start. But as the women's game booms around the world, the other nations are catching up. Yeah. And Sunday, as any English schoolboy can tell you, all empires must fall. But we'll keep what? our fingers crossed for that. But, Roger, game. this may surprise you about me, but I'm not an athlete. Nobody ever wanted me on their team. Nobody ever did. But Nate, who is an that. athlete, yeah. was here when he was here yesterday. He's, on, he's, he's off today. He said, sometimes you need a little kick in the teeth. It just yeah. motivates you. It makes you up your game. Yeah. And that ultimately, this could be a good thing for them. Um, what, what do you say about that? I would say that is the best shot in this moment. They have seen in the past, they are swaggy. They are confident. They yeah. smite. They biblically yeah. smite all comers, this team. They've seemed just vulnerable. They've seemed lost. They've lacked direction. Look, in the long term, this is a great thing. The women's game is booming around the world. In this mm -hmm. World Cup, seconds ago, Jamaica shocked Brazil and yeah. a three to the knockout round. Huge. That was, this yeah, World yeah, Cup incredible. has been about you know France, Germany, England. Yes, but it's been about Haiti. Uh, it's been about South Africa. It's been about Jamaica. It's been about the tiny teams rising yeah. up and roaring. In the long term, the women's game, the money's going in. The game, the quality is going. This World Cup, which used to be almost a walkover for the United yeah. States, mm -hmm. globally is going to be one of the great competitions. I that mean, that is good news. Feeling tremendous yeah. pressure today, don't you think? They, oh, I, we've been working with two of the players, the captain, Becky Sauerbrunn, and the best midfielder, Sam Mewis, who are unfortunately injured, which is part of the problem. And they say this team constantly plays under pressure. They said there's no greater pressure than practicing with this team because you're playing against the best players in the world. They live with pressure. They thrive with pressure. Uh, but the other teams, they are bloody good. It's no cakewalk. And Sunday, for the first time, this team that have never failed to mm -hmm. get into the semi-finals of the World Cup will be underdogs. It's a deeply unusual yeah. position. Yeah. And and Sweden, I mean, how tough is that matchup going to be? They haven't lost a game yet. Sweden are very strong. They're very physical. Yeah. They're very powerful. They're very blonde. Um, <laughs> they're also our bogey team. They've beaten us three times in major tournaments yeah. in the last 10 years. But as you said, this is the moment when internally they know they are bloody good. They know they have not displayed anything close to their best. Yeah. And I guess Nate's words, uh, Nate should give the pre-match locker <laughs> yes. room talk. Yes. What did you make of Carly up? Lloyd's comments about the team? You know, she's a former star player and she seemed to question. Quite critical. Yes. Yeah. God yeah. love Carly is a force of nature. If Carly only won 5-0, she'd go into the locker room and smash it up after the game, angry with herself that it was only 5-0. Yeah. So she's a very unique and wonderful human being. Um, yeah, I would is. I would say that that kind of came out of a very wild place and that the Fox coverage like it, the sports coverage is almost like watching Fox News and I do think for these poor women there is an element of this nation who will thrive and love the fact that they will fail they are a lightning rod in the yeah. cultural mm -hmm. war right, right now Megan Rapino you know, there's a lot of yes. human beings they remember the last World Cup Mm -hmm. where the president himself took on this team and the team delivered, they won. Yes. So it's almost four years of waiting for their comeuppance. And I, th that kind of pressure, that culture war pressure, is something that I really don't want to watch, whatever happens in the round of 16 on Sunday. Yeah, I don't think mm -hmm. pressure scares them. I don't. I think they are ready. I hope it fuels them. Yes, yeah. I believe that, Nally. I believe we'll it. We'll see. We'll see. And we didn't even get to talk about Messi in Miami, but we'll I do that know. next time. Oh, yeah, let's talk about Lionel. Yeah. Well, we have to go. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's uh, he's the, probably the biggest athlete in the United States. Yeah. I will yeah. say, with the World Cup coming in 2026, with Lionel Messi, God love the women's game soaring irrespective, these are incredible days to follow this sport. It really are. Yes, it really is. It really are. And that's why we're glad you were here, Roger. Yes. You can watch Men in Blazers live coverage of the U.S. teams uh, next game on Sunday on Twitch.